listening to WJHS 91.5, The Eagle. Welcome to Media in the Making, a podcast where you where we look at the evolution of media from 1600 all the way to present day. In this podcast series, we ask, how have different forms of media evolved and changed culture? Media in the Making, where media and culture are always changing. Now let's take a step back. The telephone was created in 1876, and one huge improvement was the rotary phone. This allowed more independence from calling. One flaw in the original design was there was only a 3-inch wide dial. To use the phone, you needed to pick up the receiver and insert your finger into the number holes. After you have the right number, you then dial, you then turn the dial until there is a click against the metal. You then release your finger so the phone can then transmit your call. When you are finished with your call, you put the receiver back on the phone and it will end. You would also need to memorize the numbers or have them written down in a certain place. This is a lot of work, right? After the rotary phone, they came out with the push button tone dial in 1963. According to EDN, the push-button phone used the dial tone multi-frequency technology. The touch tone service became a worldwide standard for the telecommunication signaling. The touch tone means having having push buttons and generating tones to dial rather than pulses. When each button was pushed, it sensed the combination of two frequencies, hence the name dual tone multi-frequency signaling. The more modern phone you probably have all heard of is the mobile phone. They date all the way back to the early 1900s because a U.S. patient needed a wireless cell phone. The first mobile phones were not really mobile phones. It was a two-way radio to go to people like emergency services to communicate. Motorola was the first handheld mobile phone. Instead, of multi-bases, you will rely on one powerful base covering a much larger area. Steve Jobs was the creator of the iPhone in 2007. So developers, we think we've got a very sweet story for you. You can begin building your iPhone apps today. People ask Jobs, what is the killer app? Quoted from Jobs is, the killer app was making calls. One of Steve Jobs' pet peeves was that his regular cell phone would drop calls. He was jazzed when he found out about the iPhone's touchscreen and the first apps. Even though with all the new or first apps, the first iPhone was shipped without the App Store. According to History.com, Jobs didn't trust the third-party developers to prevent dropped calls. A drop call happens when your phone gets disconnected somehow from the cellular network. It was later not even used for the call feature. It was later used for many more things, such as entertainment. This is not surprising. Because of the Apple products before the phone, there was the iPod in 2001, which was a quick way to listen to music. People then feared that the cell phone would take over the iPod and put a MB3 player on the cell phone. Apple would have to beat other companies to it. Right when the iPhone came out, there were many doubters. According to AI, the Microsoft CEO, Steve Bellmer, said that the iPhone had no chance. Belmer told USA Today in April of 2007, there's no chance that the iPhone is going to get any significant market share. It's not clear to me that I think there will exist a general purpose device that does everything you want, because I don't think the whole world's going to be able to afford five devices per person. We, in the bubble of Terranea, perhaps that's the view of the world. <laughs> he later said to the Bloomberg that he was wrong and Microsoft was too late to make a new phone. There was also the CEOs of BlackBerry Maker Research in motion, who watched the iPhone unveiling in disbelief. The doubters were all over the media, too. There were websites and channels titled, We Predict the iPhone Will Fall, and how there were complaints that were gathered up along with them. With the iPhone being a huge success... There came many more Apple products after, such as the iPad, which came out in 2010. It was also influenced other companies to make cell phones, just like the iPhone. 
Samsung and Android were just a few examples. See how different this phone's sound was in the beginning than it was in the end? Think different, but not too much different. Media in the Making is brought to you by WJHS 91.5 and the Eagle Tech Academy Media Classes. Media in the Making, teaching you about the evolution of media throughout history and its effects on culture. For more from the students, more podcasting series are on the 91.5 website, wjhs915.org. Thank you for joining us.